السلام علیکم ایوری ون مائی نیم از سوبیا اور میں ہوں عثمان یو آر لسننگ ٹو دا ٹوینٹی ایتھ ایپیسوڈ آف ای پینوراما اونلی آن ویب اسٹوڈیو ٹی وی ود دیٹ ویل برنگ یو سم گڈ نیوز آن اسمارٹ فونس دس ٹائم جی ساؤتھ ایسٹ ایشیا میں کوارٹر ون ٹو ٹوینٹی ٹویلو میں سوبیا آپ بلیو کریں گے کہ فورٹی نائن پرسینٹ جو فون سیل ہوئے ہیں جو سولڈ ہوئے ہیں وہ اسمارٹ فونس تھے That's very nice. 49% of smartphones sold in Southeast Asia are Android phones. And that gives Android phones a lot of business, actually quite a lot of business. The Google's mobile OS Android has been growing at a phenomenal rate all over the world. It is only made evident from the fact that 49% of smartphones sold in Southeast Asia The first quarter of quarter 1 of 2012 were Android based phones most precisely about 7.7 million units were sold in the region in the first quarter accounting for 2.4 billion dollars the sale of smartphones has been increasing at a rate of 4.9% year on year with the increase in the same quarter last year was 15% which is i think a huge yeah, jump sabse, sabse for the industry ji sabse zyada taiwan mein sold out hote hain aur usme unka penetration rate is more than 60% hai wow So they have taken out an average of 49%, mm-hmm. let's to put it. Okay, with that, BlackBerry customers of Pakistan, there is a good news for you right there. There is a good news that BlackBerry app world is now that BlackBerry users in Pakistan can use it. Finally, accessible app though. Officially, it's launched by BlackBerry. Okay, BB customers can access App World in Pakistan, although it hasn't been announced officially by RIM. It's officially announced by EMS. Okay. It's a partner of EMS. Okay sure so it has been officially announced that BlackBerry app world is now accessible in Pakistan okay. so for all those who got BlackBerry it's a big news okay Punjab police has surprised us this time ji Punjab police ne collaborate kiya hai uh, government of Punjab ke sath aur uske through wo uh, introduce karne wale EF EF EFIR aur cyber crime prevention unit jo link karega पंजाब पुलिस स्टेशन को गवर्नमेंट के साथ आके वो मॉनिटर कर सकें उनके जो सारे वो काम करते हैं उसके अलावा ईएफआईआर के थ्रू लिंक करेंगे वेबसाइट के बेस बेसिस पे Punjab police to introduce EFIR and cyber crime prevention unit at the Econ Governance Exhibition held recently at Arfa Software Technology Park organized by PITB Bilaja with head of Punjab Police IT cell reveal some upgrade that Punjab police aims to run the provincial government will be electronically connecting 100 model police stations across Punjab via promise project by installing CCTV cameras in these stations then a web based EFIR registration system will be introduced to facilitate the general public additionally a cyber crime unit and would be set up to track monitor websites blogs and other social networks for anti social and anti country activities and content with that best of luck to Punjab police the best of luck and uh, also we hope that this will be really good for the people as well and uh, sony enters ultra book market ji sony ne do ultra book launch kiye apni vio t11 aur vio t13 ke naam se okay and do you want to brief on that ji t13 ki thodi si unhone specs reveal ki hain t11 ke liye reveal nahi hui t13 mein obviously jo naam suggest karta hai ki wo 13.3 inch ke sath aayegi aur uska weight about 3.5 pounds hoga usme 4 gb ram hai about 320 gb hard uh, hard hard disk space hogi what about costing cost abhi reveal nahi hai unki aur vio t11 ke bare mein zyada hai nahi details bare mein kuch bhi detail nahi hai ye june mein launch hoga to tabhi price pata chalegi aur tab aap hamare viewers ko batayenge ki kya cheez hai chale anyway sony enters ultra book market with vio t11 and t13 sony is officially getting into the ultra book game with the announcement of its first couple of models the vio t11 and t13 as the name suggests these will come with 11 and 13.3 inch screens they will have a 17.88 mm thick magnesium and aluminum body as well as a weight of 3.5 pounds for the larger model and up to 9 hours of battery life and uh, we are actually looking forward to the costing models for these one because price is a huge issue now so let's see what we got on linkedin linkedin this time ji linkedin ne acquire kar li hai slide share a presentation sharing company hai yeah. presentation hosting service hai basically ji wo acquire kar li hai for a worth about 100 million 119 million dollars That's good. That's good. That's a, actually a very big news because slide share is something that's common to the world. The onke aur dekhe onke customers bhi almost same hai LinkedIn aur slide share pe. It's a good acquisition. Is there anything else you want to detail as about it that would be interesting to know? Anything? Abhi to unhone acquire kiya hai unhone ye pata hai ki slide share uh, as a service will independently uh, operate karegi. Acha. Ji. To ye hai ki abhi easy ho jayega customers ke liye LinkedIn mm-hmm. customers ke liye. 
LinkedIn पे ही इस प्रेजेंटेशन शेयर करना अच्छा दैट्स इन दैट दैट्स क्वाइट न्यूज एक्चुअली लिंकड इन प्रोफेशनल सोशल नेटवर्क हैज सॉट टू स्ट्रेंथन इट्स रिलेशन विद इट्स कोर बिजनेस ऑडियंस बाय बाइंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन होस्टिंग सर्विस स्लाइडशेड इन अ डील वर्थ ऑफ 118.75 मिलियन डॉलर्स द एक्विजिशन व्हिच इन्वॉल्व 45% कैश एंड 55% स्टॉक्स गिव्स लिंकड इन अनदर वे टू कनेक्ट इट्स यूजर्स हु आर ऑफ्टन कम्युनिकेटिंग एंड प्रमोटिंग देमसेल्व्स थ्रू पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशंस स्लाइड शोस एंड अदर कंटेंट पीपल आर वेरी वेल अवेयर दैट स्लाइड शेयर हैज बीन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर वेज फॉर प्रोफेशनल्स टू शेयर कंटेंट ऑन द वेब विद दैट गुड लक टू ऑल द प्रोफेशनल्स एंड लिंकड इन वेल विद दैट वी रैप अप फॉर टुडे फॉर मोर न्यूज़ लॉग ऑन टू www.cio pakistan.com with that the team of e panorama signing out, out.